Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a different kind of video for you. Um, this one isn't about being keto, but it is about having a healthier lifestyle. And so I'm going to show you all of my makeup slash cosmetic slash how I washed my hair or suntan lotion, like all of those kind of products that I have researched and um, have been using in the last year and a few months, I guess now. I wanna show you some of the brands that I've been using, um, but I will show you what I have tried out and what I, I, I actually like. Um, we will start with um, the shampoo that I used for my hair. Um, the process that I had started out with actually last year was I went no poo, which I, I didn't use any conventional um, shampoo there for a while. Um, I will actually have a video about this more in detail, so I'm not gonna really go into it, but I was washing my hair with um, baking soda and then rinsing it out with um, a vinegar. So I did that to kind of transition my hair out of being like laden with chemicals because it, that all kind of like stays in your hair. Now I don't do that anymore. Um, I have been using a shampoo that I've been buying in the store. You can find them at Target, at Walmart. Um, it is a little pricey, but um, with going no poo, I only wash my hair every four days or so-ish. Since I have soft water now in the apartment that we're living in, I'm gonna try and make my own shampoo again. This is the Shea Moisture, or Shea, I'm not, Shea Moisture, I guess is how you say it. Um, Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. Um, I didn't get it because it was for like thick and curly hair. I got it because like it doesn't have any of these things in it. And if you look at the ingredient list, like it is like the smallest ingredient list ever. And whenever you're searching for um, any cosmetics, um, please go to ewg.org. They also have an app and it you can type in like what the brand is or sometimes even the UPC label will work. And they have so many um, ratings for all of these things. So, like they would have a rating based on like how likely it is to give you cancer or what the chemicals are or the allergies for it. Great ingredients and like I said, um, you know, I've been using this every you know, once or twice a week, but I will be making my own shampoo, and once I get a good recipe for that, I will share it with you guys as well. Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. So I do have this little like travel bottle size, because you only really need a little, and I got this one in lavender, because I do really like lavender. And so, you know, I can just squirt this on a washcloth or something like that and use it. Um, ingredients are like right there and you can actually use this like you can use this for body wash you can use this for cleaning you can use this even to wash your hair which I'm going to try and just see how it is now that I have different water um, so you can use this for so many different things and I have like a big bottle of the you know unscented one and I have some other bottles with some different scents almond and rose I think which I will show you I'm gonna do a separate video on like my cleaning supplies so I will show you that I do have this bar I usually have a bar soap um, in the shower also that way I can just switch between whatever I want to use um, and so this one is almond um, and so yeah this bar soap and um, I can get, you can get these like Dr. Bronner's, they do have these at Target. I also get them at on Thrive Market, which I did a product haul but that was for some pregnancy supplements, but I still will link that above on this side, I guess it is. Um, yeah, so I'll link that up there and down below on the Thrive Market haul um, because they do have really, really good prices. Like, I think this bar of soap is maybe like $2 on Thrive Market, and in Target, I think it's like maybe four, but this lasts for forever. That's one of the reasons why I do like the bar soap, because literally this would last you like half of a year or longer. I use this Crystal Body Deodorant, which I also talked about this in my Thrive Market haul. Um, and this is literally just a big piece of crystal, and so you just get it wet, and then you rub it under your arms, and I love this. Like, I have tried some other natural alternatives to deodorant, but my body doesn't react very well to the baking powder, 
or whatever baking soda, baking powder, that's in a lot of the deodorants. And so I would get really bad rashes and itch. And so I've had such a good experience with this. So I just stay with this. Yeah, this is what I use. And this does, la it says it lasts up to a year. It almost lasts a year, as long as you don't drop it and break it into pieces like I did before. Sunscreen, my husband uses this. I can actually go without having suntan lotion on if I'm careful about just kind of building up my tan throughout the whole summer. So I haven't used any this summer. Um, this Think Sport, which has a rating of number one, and I got this on Thrive Market. Again, I'll have the link below so you guys can look at this a little bit better. Perfume, I do want to make um, some homemade perfume with my essential oils, but I have not found a good recipe for that yet. But for now, I just use this diffuser necklace, which I got off of, um, I got off of Amazon, and it just opens up, just like a locket, and it has this little piece of leather that you put the oil on. So I like using this because it looks pretty and then I can smell really awesome as well. And the essential oils that I use um, are this citrus fresh and this lime. And I use those for the summer because they just smell really, really good. I also use this Breathe Again roller, um, which has eucalyptus in it. And so I can just roll it onto my neck. Um, but I will be making a video more about essential oils and how I use them and where I get them from and why. Toothpaste. This is the toothpaste that my husband and I use. Um, it is fluoride free and made with 70% organic ingredients. I also have this in my Thrive Market haul linked below. And so you can um, learn a little bit more about this in that video. There are the ingredients, but I love this. And again, it's cheaper at Thrive Market. I had a really, one of my favorite Etsy stores. Um, this lady was making makeup, but unfortunately I can't find her store anymore. So I guess she doesn't make it anymore. But I had gotten my powder foundation from her and my liquid foundation. And that's what I have on right now because I'm gonna use these until they're up and then I'll tell you what I'll switch to. She also made um, these awesome blushes and bronzers that I have been using as well. Um, so, and she had great prices too. So if she ever does pop up again, you guys know. Um, now for my Mascara, I have been getting my mascara from Moody Sisters, linked below, and they have awesome ingredients. I don't know if you can see that because it's kind of faded, but I do really, really like this mascara. I've had great, um, like I just love it. And I also have the eyebrow pencil from them, which it used to be a lot longer, but I've been using it. Um, so Moody Sisters is great and they have great customer service. I'm actually going to be getting my liquid and powder foundation from them after I'm finished with the first stuff because um, they also have great ingredients for it and you can like send them a picture of your face without makeup on and they'll tell you what matches up. So I have like where you can get five of their foundation samples for five dollars I think to like test the color and see if you like it. So that's a really good option. I got these lipsticks from a company called Brigia which is linked below and I did some color swatches so you can see. This is the Antique Satin, which is this first one over here. And then it spit like a man. And these all just like pop up like this and you can twist them up and down like that. Um, they are a little grainy at first until you like smooth it onto your skin and the warmth melts like the Shea Butter. And then Teaser, but she has tons of lipstick it was so hard for me to choose and uh, these I got last fall so they are kind of fall colors antique satin is probably what I wear the most she has tons and tons of colors I wanted to get maybe something that was more spring or summerish I just haven't gotten it yet um, she also has great blush and eyeshadow if you wear eyeshadow I don't normally so hope that me showing you everything that I use to get ready in a day um, I hope that that helped with some of the brands because I know it is very tricky when you're kind of changing over all of your um, cosmetics to something that's non-toxic there's a lot of research that goes into that and so it took me quite a while to find out like what brands I liked or what worked for me 
for what was good quality and so I hope that this really helped. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to be notified for more upcoming videos. I will be doing more videos about my non-toxic living, a minimalistic lifestyle, and the keto way of eating that I like to do. So thank you so much for watching.